236 Meter. Breite auf Spanten maximal 48 Meter. Seitenhöhe bis Hauptdeck 27,9 Meter. Tiefgang maximal 14,21 Meter. Verdrängung bei maximalem Tiefgang 24.300 Tonnen. Leergewicht 19.820 Tonnen. Motorleistung 12 Maschinen. Ca. 75.000 PS. Höchstgeschwindigkeit unwahrscheinlich. Hey everybody, this is Prototype 9000. Thought I'd keep everybody up to date on the project I'm working working on. It's it's a, uh, a humidifier for my intake manifold. We'll add moisture to the intake air through the manifold vacuum um, you know that to increase horsepower and fuel efficiency and so on and so forth and so far this is what I got I chopped off this three inch PVC pipe I, I made some uh, I took some other P, smaller diameter PVC pipe I screwed it in in there was some mesh green on there and some and some filter material which I just wound up and cut to the size to fit in there and stuck a pipe through there. This pipe is gonna go sit in the bottom of the cap like this. And and there's gonna be a hole drilled in top of that cap soon. And this is going, you know, this is going to be the bubbler here on the bottom. I'll give you a view in there. Oh, I know where to do this. Yeah, see, and, that, and there you just got a smaller gray PVC pipe in there, and I made a bracket in the bottom and screwed it in there, and so on and so forth. And I counter, sort of counter sunk these screws so I can fit the cap over the top. And I'm going to have a, and then the bottom here, bottom here, this is the bottom cap, this is going to be for drainage. And I'm going to put. Hey, this is Prototype 9000. As you can see, I made some changes. I made this special bubbler that has filters in it to break up the water particles and just put pure moisture in there. So there's no, so there's no uh, water, actual water droplets going in there. Well, microscopic maybe. Focus. I got it sort of anchored to the sidewall. And later date, I'm gonna put a a uh, switch here for when the water level gets low, it'll fill it back up and it goes into the bottom of the tank. Uh, I'll put some pictures in the video showing how I made it. And I made another change to my other other one now. Now this one that I had before. You know, this feeds water directly into the intake manifold. It helps cool the cylinders down and help extra power both of these units do. And it works pretty well. This this is actually better than my other one because this activates after. You should never have water vapor or water going in the engine that idle. It can cause a hole serious issues like water and oil and water and oil and in uh just you know increase gas consumption if you have it at idle 
on the new air filter too. Kind of bent from me leaning on it. But anyways, anyways, this feeds it after 1,000 RPMs. You step on the gas and you see the amounts increase with the speed. And it puts very little water in it. I improved the atomization a little bit in it, putting some, putting some uh, brown, some ultra fine bronze wool in in the compression fitting. Now let me fire it up and show you what it does. Bubbling, you can't really see nothing right now. I got a cord coming loose. There we go. This is doing something. And here's where the rest of the magic happens. I'll be going for emissions testing soon, see just how good this is.